With Novak Djokovic winning the Australian Open for the 10th time and equaling Rafa's record of 22 slams, the question that everybody is asking at the moment is who is the greatest of all time or who is leading the GOAT debate? Because I think that's probably the main thing. Of course, it's not going to be over until they both retire. Uh, but who is leading the GOAT debate? We've got a couple of graphics to go through and also a little bit of history in the GOAT debate and where Djokovic really became one of the guys to talk about when we do talk about the greatest players of all time. So going over on Twitter here and looking at the graphic that were put together, big titles in their singles career. You can see there 54 for Roger Federer, including 20 slams, six ATP finals trophies and 28 masters, but has no Olympic singles gold medals. Rafa's got 59 big titles, 22 slams, no ATP finals trophies, 36 masters and one Olympic gold. And Novak Djokovic, after winning the Australian Open, now has 66 big titles, including 22 slams, six ATP Finals trophies, 38 Masters, and still doesn't have an Olympic gold medal in singles, but I'm sure he's going to be playing the Olympics in Paris in a couple of years, so there is a chance for him to still get that, but it just shows the big trophies, Novak Djokovic dominating that category. Now let's go have a look at the graph here that shows Grand Slams over their careers so far, and very interesting to see where Novak Djokovic actually falls into this spot, because he wasn't considered a GOAT for a very long time. You can see there Federer won his first in 2003 and his last in 2018, spanning over 15 years to win those 20 slams. And you can see there that kind of a slump between 2012 and 2016, having not won any slams during that time period. And it's a flat line on 17. You can see Rafa, he won his first in 2005 and his most current in 2022. So over 17 years, he's won 22 titles, which is interesting. And you can see there a little bit of a slump for Rafa between 2014 and 2016, where he was stuck on 14 slams. Interesting to see that both Federer and Nadal both didn't win any slams during that time. And then Novak Djokovic, of course, course his first slam came in 2008 and his most current slam of course was the Australian Open in 2023 So 15 years to win 22 slams which is two more than Federer did in the same time period and his slump was really at the start of his career he won one in 2008 and it took him a while to win his second one with a bit of a flat line there stuck on one slam for a while but the interesting part is where both Federer and Nadal didn't win slams you can see there that's where Djokovic really took over he went from 7 to 12 winning five slams in that period when Nadal and Federer won zero slams and that's really I think the time period that we're going to focus on, 2014, 2016, where Djokovic put his name in the ring in this GOAT debate. And of course, now he's equal on Rafa's score at 22 and probably going to take the most slams of all time in the next few years. So a very interesting graphic there showing, you know, where these guys are in the history of their game and also over their careers. Because of course, Federer, he got a head start. He was around before Nadal and Djokovic. Nadal got a bit of a head start on Djokovic. But then when Djokovic jumped in the scene, he didn't really do well at the start, as the other guys did. The other guys, you know, started off hot, and they won a lot of slams early. Djokovic didn't really start that well that young, and it wasn't until that sort of mid-20s time period where he actually started to win a lot of slams. But let me know down in the comments below the question that everybody asks all the time. Who's going to be the GOAT? Who's going to win the most slams? Is it going to be Djokovic? Is it going to be Nadal? They're both playing the French Open in a couple of months. Wimbledon also around the corner. Could we be locked at 23 slams going to the US Open? Who knows? Let me know down in the comments below. Who do you think is going to have the most slams at the end of their career?